Hello, I'm Tara, head camel educator and host of this podcast all about camels. And if you're a camel owner, carer or want to be owner, then you are in the right place. This episode is all about what a camel should eat. So let's dive in. question should be, what should a camel eat? Because camels will eat many different things, even things that aren't good for them. But that doesn't warrant for correct feeding. Just because a camel's eating, it doesn't mean they're eating the correct food for their, for their biology. A big myth that people, particularly in Australia, have about camels is that they can eat really crappy haze and crappy food and feeds and often stock feed places will try to sell these to new camel owners only for the owner to have a really sick really sick camels either soon after feeding or months after because remember camels are survival animals and they will hide their symptoms for some time until they're quite sick but here's the funky, literally funky truth. Camels are walking compost heaps. As camel vet Margie Bale puts it, they have three stomachs and all stomachs are working as a compost heap to create healthy bacteria to help camels stay healthy, keep a healthy weight, i.e. a healthy hump, keep the minerals and nutrition circulating through their bodies so that, that the camel can be at its optimum health. Just This is just to name a few things on what the stomach actually does for the camel. The camel's stomach is what keeps them healthy. Even skin and parasite, worm issues can be nutrition related, um, i.e. stomach related. So when you're feeding a camel, you're not actually feeding the camel, you're feeding the camel's stomach. I'll say that again. When you're feeding a camel, you're not actually feeding the camel, you're feeding the camel's stomach. This is the golden rule of Camel Husbandry 101. Memorize it and practice it. So what should a camel eat? Here are two camel feeding tips to get you started. Grains are a no-no. Yes, the glorious sweet grains that camels absolutely love to eat. <laughs> Grains are actually not a su suitable daily food for camels due to the fact that the camel's stomach, remember we're feeding the camel's stomach, is unable to break down the grain correctly, leaving the stomach in, quotes, stress and in an overactive overactive mode, which is can be the perfect environment for parasites to multiply and other health issues to arise. And the second tip is pure feeds. Camels should not eat crappy foods and you should stick to feeds in their purest form, i.e. not having a pile of additives in the feed that you can barely pronounce. Some formulated feeds in bags can actually kill camels due to some of the additives. So it's something to be really mindful of. As a camel owner, you need to know these three things. What exactly is in the feed, including the haze that you are buying? So you need to find out the grasses that are included in any pasture haze or field haze. Number two, where the hay was grown, because you don't want pasture hay that is high in oxalates, as this will cause major health issues later on. Trust me, I've been there with a few of our camels and um, yeah, it's just, it's not a good situation to be in. And you can find out all these things by either getting the hay tested um, or asking the supplier. But, you know, you don't want the wool pulled over your eyes either if they're just trying to sell something. Third one is that you, you want top shelf quality. You want the good quality feed and you want to visually see this for yourself. You want to visually see the quality and you can pull out a bit of the hay from the from the bale that it's in and have a look and if you're not familiar consult with someone who is familiar with good in quotes good quality hay once i made the mistake of buying about a thousand bucks worth of hay only to find out like this is i hadn't seen the hay um and then on arrival it was just full of mold and other crap that was not suitable for camels but the seller said 
oh, I heard camels can eat anything. You see my point here. So even though it uh, it may seem that feeding camels is complicated, it's actually not once you know how. And don't let that put you off, you know, having your first couple of camels or whatever. Like once you know, you know, and you can formulate your routines around that. Camels have daily, weekly, and monthly requirements, and we help members in our academy all the time find the right camel feeding and husbandry routines that's right for them and, most importantly, their geographic location and what feeds are available locally. As we keep saying over and over and over again, and our camel vet agrees that camels have a completely different biology from any other animal, a camel needs to be fed like a camel. (laughs) Um, And the only way you're going to know that is by understanding their natural diet, how their stomach works and how you can implement that in a domestic environment. We cannot feed camels like any other animals. We cannot medically treat camels like other animals. A A camel's entire makeup is what makes them incredible creatures, biologically speaking. Animal vet Dr. Margie Bale says in one of our talks in our in our academy, and she says providing a good landscape for your camels will provide you with a healthy camel. And it's not exactly referring to um, paddocks and pasture feed and stuff like that. It's just the general holistic landscape um, internally and externally for your camel. So if you want more info on camel nutrition, feeding ratio, guides, mineral intakes, and other great camel care and husbandry practices, here's a few ways that we can help if you're ready to learn more. You can watch or listen to one of our most popular talks in the Camel Ear Academy on camel nutrition and toxic feeds and plants. If you're after a quick fix for your camel's feeding routine formulated by a camel vet, we have a camel palette formula to give to a feed meal to make up um, full of all the correct ratios and minerals and all of that sort of thing. And we also have a camel feed ratio chart for you in the academy, which means you can look at the chart, see your camel's weight and go, oh, that's exactly how much my camel should be eating. And there's also overweight and underweight camel as well. If you'd like to get your camel feeding and nutrition routine sorted once and for all by an actual camel vet, then become a member today for a tiny fee compared to an entire vet consult. And once you're a member, you'll get an invite to join that and get a camel vet's opinion on your camel's feeding and nutrition routine. Plus, you get access to all the things I just mentioned and an entire library of talks, demos, and lessons on camel handling, vet care, husbandry, and equipment. So if you're ready to learn more and jump into this whole world of camels, the Academy is the right place and join our cool little camel community that we have. Hopefully, we'll see you in there and we'll catch you on the next episode.